It is not easy to call out the targets we're calling out every day. GME experienced a very dangerous day for retail investors. While the Archibald's team nailed the upside targets, big drawdowns came in afterward. Let's pop open that hood for a look into the following sessions. Welcome back to the channel on this Microcap Monday. This is Arca, and let's dive into GameStop. Let's kill him, team. What is up, you guys, and welcome back to the channel. Please do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, make make sure the, uh, to do everything necessary to get this thing to live long, thrive, and survive, right? So <laughs> stumbling, upon, stumbling upon the words there, right? So let's go ahead and get this thing rolling, team. This is the hourly time frame for GME where we were determining where our first target was going to land right at that $24.52 level based on the breakout from this bullish falling wedge, right? We actually ended up breaking out right at that 75% mark of the, or to the apex of the triangle, right? Per the statistics, that's usually where you get the breakout from. We met that target to the upside, resisted from the EMA 200 on the hourly time frame, and completely pulled back to validate supports within the range that we've been talking about as a very strong area of demand. Okay, so yes, we use this right in here, team. We were able to maintain just at about that 50% of the retracement here, printed a hammer candle and then moved on to the upside. Okay, so this was uh, this was very this was very telling here for uh, for uh, retail. This could have been a very dangerous situation here, but we ended up coming right back up and take a look at the resistance that we faced. Right, facing resistance right at the SMA 200 on the hourly time frame slash the EMA 200 right on that hourly time frame too. We are currently experiencing support. From both of the EMA 20 and your SM and your SMA, uh, no, this is your EMA 9 down here. So this could be an area for us to validate support before a continuation to the upside. So in in other words, we would be combating the upside here into the $25.68. I'm going to go ahead and give you these targets just like this. So uh, remember, you, when you're looking at the moving average, don't look at the moving average directly as the target that you're going to land in because this will be variable. It moves with price action, right? So we're just going to take it into it, it, with a grain of salt right here, right? 25.62 to this area here, to the to the wick low of that zone there could be the next resistance zone before we move up, right? So this is going to be your 26.19 to 25.62 resistance. Pull back, validate supports. So it's going to be something like this. Let me draw it out. It's going to be something like this, right? You're going to get the resistance here. Pull back to validate the supports of the EMA 200 and or the SMA 200, right? We could bounce around like this for a little bit. Then we could make our way up and then figure resistance right at about this point here, right around here at the 2866 uh, uh, before pulling back into this area for uh, further validations, right? Before making a move to the upside. So 2866 paired with the, with the secondary target that we have here from the middle of the triangle, right? So let's go ahead and do the 2866 just like this here and pair it with the 29 46 dollar target that we're looking at for the upside in this situation right something like this is what the price action would essentially do right it's going to be levels just like uh just like any time you have the you have a drop here level right you have another level here you have another level here drop right there's always levels for you to consider with price action right so yeah i'm, I'm taking a look at this potential resistance right up here before we move back down validate the break of the sma 50 right we got to get that SMA 50 validated and make a move to, towards the upside, uh, getting in touch with our secondary triangle formation target, right? So you're going to take the, the, the way we figured this target here, team, remember, is because your triangle consists of three take profit targets, right? One is going to be right from the right from the uh, breakout target, right? This is your first target, and that's telling you that we would reach a target of 2452. We met it today, uh, very early in the day, <clears throat> and then this right here would be the secondary target taken from the center of the triangle, right? So this would be the 50% of of the triangle right in here. And then you apply it to the uh, point of breakout, which is this point here, right? And that gives you 29.46. The next target would be the larger end of the triangle, right? From back here, we apply it to that same place of breakout right down here, right? And that gives us a target of about 38.19. So guys, the reason we know this, the reason that why I know these targets and how we're able to reach them is because I am an instructor. So please get in touch with me at arcmasterscourse at gmail.com and I'll make sure to give you the syllabus and disclaimer to the, to the now condensed 
18 to 19 week mentorship program down to a four to five week crash course program. Make sure to get in touch with me at arcmasterscourse at gmail.com and I'll pass you all the relevant information for that. Let's go ahead and please remember to join the Archibulls trading team. It's going to be, lo there's going to be a link. Uh, there's going to be a, lo a link located right on the top here for you to consider joining, okay? So that's going to be right at that. Uh, yeah, I got you. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look. But you know, you know the downside targets, guys. L listen, it's still going to be right in here. 2018 to 1747, now with a lower probability of 1895, okay? It's still there. But the inflection point in order for us to get down to those levels would be breaking this candle's low. That's going to be your 2188. An hourly closure beneath that 2188 would introduce the lower bound targets yet again. Okay, team, so let's go ahead and take a look at the options flow on the other side because I got something to show you. Take a look at this, right? So remember, for those of you who are new, this is going to be your uh, expiry. This is going to be your call side. This is your put side, and this is your strike, right? So look at right over here, right? So here, for, for the 24th of May expiries, we're looking at a 6,600 open interest. Yeah. Oh, man. So the calls are really beating it. Even for the June 21st, right at the $25 level, we're already looking at the $25 level, right? We're already we're already kind of poking it right now. So we're, we're trying to get over it. This was it right here, 2513. So that's why there is open interest right there, team. Next, we want to take a look at this right over here. Look at this. $30 target, 7,700 open interest compared to the 5,800. And then we have 5,000 open interest compared to the 2,100 at the June 21st and May 24th. This is for the 30 strike. Very, very good. Now, I want to show you something else, though. I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, kind of scooch on forward. This was not there yesterday. Check this out. 20,000 open interest on the calls for June 21st at a massive $40 valuation. You guys, take a look at that. And we also have 8,700 in open interest for the 24th of May as well. I'm not sure what it means, but it's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna put it out like that. January 17th, 2025 is almost 17,000 in open interest. That just means, guys, that we have, uh, yeah, like overall, there, there are the signals for a further upside. The way we take that is that, I mean, open interest literally means that. Just people are literally interested in that target for those strikes. Okay, you guys? That is what I have here for you today. We're going to go ahead and stream live tonight anyway. So make sure to tune in and, uh, and uh, stay connected, right? Remember to join the Archibulls trading team. And remember to join the Arc Masters course at gmail.com so that I'll, I'll pass you all that information so that you can trade the financial markets the institutional way, okay, you guys? Remember, the Archibulls trading team, I already put that link up. It's also located in the, in the link in the description below if you want to go ahead and stay on top of these targets day in and day out. Thank you so much for coming on by, team. We shall speak very soon. Please take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as I cannot suggest for you to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever. Never, ever, never. I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool, cool. But with that said, team, I wish you well, a very, very good rest of your day and or night, and I will catch you at the Bell Manana. Adios, team.